Hi everybody, this is Jan from Jan's Art. I'm going to try something a little bit different today. Um, I've got a, a 16 by 20 canvas, um, cloth canda, canvas stretched. I've gessoed it with black gesso, nice and dry. So that's my base, that's what I'm going to start using. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some tape. And what I want to do is I just want to ma mask. Maybe. Some areas. I want to do a, a woodland scene. going to be my foreground trees and I'm masking them off because I like the the darkness what I've got as well is I've got this fine line masking tape if I don't use stuff you know what I might as well start using it it's by Harris see fine line masking tape and if this works the way I think it might work well we I'm hoping it might work it's just put some of this it's tough tape I don't want to spray I just want to put some of this into here And this is where I'm going to put trees and such. Okay, so let's just put a tree. Oops. And the beauty of this is you can cut it. You can bend it as you're putting it on. Look, see. So you're getting a bit of natural. I'm just gonna take this tree here, maybe just widen it a bit. Okay. That's it. Brilliant. So what I'm gonna do is these trees are gonna be in darkness. Okay, and what I'm hoping to do is just put in some silhouettes of trees. Let's just cut that. It's a bit like masking with watercolour, and hopefully. some of these. I love the way that the tape's just bending, you know, for like young branches. What we'll do is let's just make this one just a little bit thicker. So when you had a bit of a tree in there, yeah, it's brilliant. Now, at my centre piece, up. what I want to do is I just want to make something. Oh my God, that's a lovely shape, that. See, let's just 
just have some fun with this tape and see where it takes us. Okay. Just make this a little bit thicker. And we'll go in and just follow the that's it. Maybe. Just maybe oh look at that. That perfect. See how it just splits off like a branch. See? Right, that's a, another big tree just there, look. Okay. Let's just bend this a little bit. So it's going up there. Cut this excess off. This is only temporary because what the effect that I want to get is transforming down. Look, there we go. Another tree just here. Set. Let's have some little trees. Coming along here. this big trunk. Let's have another few trees. Just little thin trees. Look. Yes. Going up there. I've tried this effect with watercolour but never with acrylic. So See where we go. Let's just bring this one up here and maybe just shoot enough up there. This all makes sense, hopefully, as I'm then. Um, working on it. This is my forest. It's going to be in darkness. Bits of wood. 
right this is going to be fun what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cut this thin tip as thin as still but the reason I want to do this is I want some little thin bits may not work trees in do you think? I've got room for maybe one or two more. Eh? I can't reach the top. Okay, let's try. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to give me some natural wood, some big trees in the foreground. Just uh, need to work on me. A bit longer here. Let's just cut these a bit shorter. So I get a bit of perspective going on. Treason. Just thought of an idea here. May work. It may not. Oh, 
won't give it a go. It's funny how when you try something and it doesn't work and then you think about it subconsciously and let's see what happens. I've got a scalpel knife, I've taped some tape down the bottom. All I'm going to do when I can find the glasses, there they are. Right, all I want to do is just try and cut this one in half. piece of tape. Right. And what I can do is just put this one. Oh look and you can just move it where you want to see. much better if I wanted. See? And I've got these lovely little skinny pieces. See? If you think about it, it doesn't usually solve what you're trying to do. There we go. Trim that one. Oh, that's lovely. branches coming off these ones here look see to get higher look see it's a couple of branches maybe maybe this one just there look because it looks like there could be one doesn't it so let's just put it in there look there we go and every forest dish bit thought of maybe You start painting. See what we do, eh? Right, I'll just take a picture. Did you have a good hot chocolate to drink? this see if this works right now these are the colors that I'm going to use I've got white in the tub lemon yellow yellow ochre Indian red emerald green oxide of chrome Hooker's green, Bethelo green, black, that's supposed to be ultramarine. I don't know where that's come from, so I'll just change it where it should be. change that for lemon lemon yellow or maybe I'll have cadmium yellow let's give this a while let's give it a go let's just see what we get these are the colours I've got lemon yellow cadmium yellow right, I'm changing my colours as you can see
So, let's put some white. I like two dollops of white. One for mixing and one for just white. Okay. Cadmium yellow, bit richer. Now my yellow ochre. Okay, let's have my yellow ochre. Now the more ready of the browns, Indian red. See? Like a, a sienna. Right now let's start on the greens. Okay. Got a lovely emerald green there. And this is my oxide of chrome, which is a, like a sap green. green which I, that looks suspiciously like the theano green it probably is oh that's the theano green very close Get me blue in the ultramarine. Just put that down there, and finally some black. Okay. Right now, what I'm going to use is. Sponges, natural sponges. See, I've got a, a box load of them. I'll just give myself a little bit of water so I can rinse them out. Okay, right. What I'm going to do first is, I just want to dab some white, get rid of the water, just dab some white in the centre. That's where I go off just a little bit of pure white, just there. Okay, so I've got some light, maybe just a little dab on the bottom look, just there, see, that's where the light's hidden, okay. Being a sponge, I keep them 
clean because if they dry with the paint on, they're not very useful. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with some. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit of lemon and a little bit of emerald green. Look. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. A bit more cadmium, I think. Just to make that. Oh, look at them. That lovely light green that I've got there. But I also need dark green so I'm going to use the Venetian red and just draw down my add a little bit of blue yeah so I get a a very dark green see maybe a little bit of black that's it oh that's lovely got a little bit of black all right now what I want to do is I'm going to get my sponge again. I've got these two colours and I just want to put in some little bits. Now, the reason I've put the tape on, you'll see, is when hopefully when I remove it, I'll have my silhouettes trees but I just want to build up some trees and some foliage here look see that's it I'm just consciously leaving some of the black gesso this is my dark dark colour so let's just put in just a little bit of red in there see Ooh, look at that, maybe too much, push it back a bit, that's it, a bit of red up here, okay, that's it, a bit more with the blue maybe, just to give it a darker, oh, look at that, that's lovely that, see, just bring that up here, I'm just starting with my darkest colours first. Okay, it'll make sense. Take this all away, you see. And there we go. So I've got some darks in there. a little bit of a mess but trust me let's see what happens let's just take a picture where I am at the minute under me. Let's see what happens here. Look, let's just start putting in some lighter bits. See? Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. See, it's a few little pieces. Just here and there. Yeah. 
that's it. Just introducing the light of colour, you see. Let's just clean that. When I started using sponges, I couldn't believe how versatile they are. Look. See? This is where the light's coming in through that skylight. See? Let's just try put some. There we go. through the branches just a little place to see maybe just maybe just a few little coming through onto this side yeah but I want to capture the light coming through see Turning the sponge as you do it. Let's have a little bit of Indian red just on the bottom. Look. Maybe just a little bit of darkness coming through there. Let's clean that. It's, it's a messy process, this so. Prepare to get your fingers messed. There we go. Maybe some yellow ochre, hey? That's it. Let's get some yellow ochre in there. That's it. Just a little 